Hey, what's up guys? It's Tech Infusion, and today I'm going to be teaching you this really neat write on text animation inside of After Effects. Using just a few masks, you can make it look like any text is being handwritten onto your composition. Let's jump right in. All right, so the first thing you need to do when opening After Effects is click on new composition. I'm going to name my composition right on animation and then just make sure that you set your resolution to what you want it. I'm just going to leave mine at 1920 by 1080 and my frame rate at 30 frames per second. All right, now that all that's done, just press OK. And here we have our composition. All right, next, go up to your toolbar and find this little text icon. Just click on that. And what we're doing here is creating a new text layer. We'll have to click anywhere in the composition and just begin typing whatever you want your write on animation to say. To keep things simple, I'm just going to type write on. Now that you have your text, go ahead and format that to look exactly how you'd like. Usually with this type of effect, you want some type of brush font. That way it actually looks like some type of handwritten font, but you don't have to if that's not the look you're going for. Go ahead and make any other adjustments you need now, like color, spacing, and then make sure that you go ahead and center your text directly in the middle. And you can do that super easily just using the align window. Once you're happy with the way your text looks, make sure that your text layer is selected and then go up to the toolbar again and click on this little pen tool. All right, so now what we're going to start doing is using the pen tool, just trace the first letter here. If you don't know how to use the pen tool, just left click to create a point. And then as you're creating a second point, you can click and hold and drag and that'll kind of give it a curve to it if you need a curve for your text. The goal here is to make sure that you stay as close to the middle of your text as possible. That way, when we go ahead and use the stroke effect later, it's just revealing that part of the text and not the next letter over. It doesn't have to be exact, but just try to get it as close as possible. Now that we're done with the first letter, let's go ahead and select our layer down in the composition timeline and press M on our keyboard, and you'll see that we have a mask. We can go ahead and start working on the second letter now. Just like the first letter, just begin by clicking the point where you want the first stroke to start of that letter, and then just finish tracing it like you did the first. You'll see that your second mask now has a different color than the first one, just so you know you're on a different mask. As you finish each letter, make sure you go back to your composition panel over here and just select your text layer to deselect any masks. Keep tracing each letter and remember to try to keep it as close to the middle as possible. And let's go ahead and just speed this up so we can finish the rest of these letters. All right, so once you're done tracing all of your letters, let's go ahead and select your text layer. Then head over to the effects and presets window. If you don't have the effects and presets window open, you can go up to your menu bar up to window and then select effects and presets. So let's go ahead and search for the stroke effect. Once you find it, just go ahead and drag and drop that onto your text layer. Let's go up to the effects control window and change a few of the parameters here. First of all, we're gonna wanna check this box that says all masks. That means it won't just use one specific mask, but it'll actually use every single mask that you drew when you were masking out your letters. Then let's go down to paint style and click on the drop down box and make sure you select reveal original image. Next, let's change our brush size so that it kind of matches the thickness of our font. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the brush hardness to 100% as well, because I don't really like the feathering at the edges. So if you set your brush size correctly, you should now see what almost looks like your exact font. Now, if I go ahead and start adjusting with this end parameter here, you can actually see that it looks like the text is getting traced out. And that's exactly what we wanna see. But to actually animate this, we're gonna have to add a few keyframes, but don't worry, this is super simple. With my playhead at the beginning of my timeline, I'm just gonna go ahead and click the stopwatch icon next to end. Make sure you set this parameter to 0% if it's not already. I'm going to go to about two seconds of my timeline, and then I'm just gonna type 100% in that end parameter. You don't have to worry about creating another keyframe here because you already had one at the beginning. It's going to make a new keyframe every time you make an adjustment to that parameter. So let's go ahead and preview what this looks like and see if we need to fix any mistakes. That's looking pretty good. Now from here, you could spice things up and add a background, or maybe you want this to overlay some footage you already have. You can really do whatever you want from here, but that's basically how you make this right on effect. Like I said in the beginning, it's super simple and doesn't take a lot of time to make but it really does add a unique element to your videos. Anyways, guys, that's all for this video. If you found it helpful in any way, please remember to leave a like and don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and until next time, guys, peace out.